The Hitmon line is a weird one. Chan and Lee used to be separate Pokemon, but then became a divergent evolutions of Tyrogue, which can also evolve into Hitmon Top. Tyrogue looks nothing like Hitmon Lee, barely like Hitmon Chan, and Hitmon Top looks like a completely separate species from all of them. It might be one of the most designed, incoherent lines in the entire franchise, unified only by a common theme of martial arts. Hitmon Chan on his own is cute, though. The whole line only has a male gender, but there's a feminine aesthetic to Hitmon Chan, which, hey, a bit of gender f is always fun. Its shoulder pads are probably meant to emphasize its arms and punching power, just as Hitmon Lee's corrugated legs are supposed to emphasize its legs and kicking, which, yeah, sure, although I note with confusion that Hitmon Lee actually has notably more muscle definition on its arms than Chan. Tyrogue seems to be kind of a wrestler, except it's incredibly skinny, which, yeah, I don't know. At least its head ridges give it a little bit of design coherency with Hitmon Chan, and its three fingers with Hitmon Lee, which I guess that's something. Hitmon Top is, I mean, it's cool, it is based on Capoeira, and I guess the head spike makes sense for a spinning top, but yeah, yeah. Look, I don't know what to say. I don't think these should all have been connected as evolutions. I just don't think it works. Subscribe to this channel for more reactions and hot takes, or head on over to my main channel for longer in-depth videos.